I started frequenting the hub and all the other dirty sites at the age of 12. It started out when this kid in recess was talking to these nerds, captivating them as if he's telling them a story of the time he took a shit in his pants. Anyway, I had to know what was going on. I was intrigued. So I asked him what he was talking about. Then his eyes lit up like Smeagol from Lord of the Rings, almost like he had the f like he had found the key to life itself, to all the life's answers. Well, can you guess what he talks about? He talks about a particular website and he mentions it casually and I ask him, what's that? He looks at me almost like a subpar human an uncultured simpleton and so he tells me when you go home search up this website i promise you you won't regret it at the time i generally did not know what he was referring to but that nerd had introduced me to a world i would be battling with even until today so when i went home that's the first thing i did i had no concept of naked videos of females even existed. I had no idea, but I did search it up and by God, I was hooked the moment I searched it. Then almost instinctively, I felt I had to make a white substance come out, but I didn't know how, so I searched that up too. In one day, I was exposed to both the material and the way to self-pleasuring. The first time I did it, I did not know what to expect, but I kid you not, an unknown white substance came out like shooting out like a volcano had bursted, even touching the ceiling. I felt such an exhilarating rush I had never felt before. And that was the start of it all for me. Little did I know that day, my life would be forever changed. The nerdy kid had unlocked within me an insatiable curiosity for exploring the hub's darkest fantasies and forever battling the demons of desire it ignited within me. My voyage into the world of self-pleasure had begun. I share this story to awaken you to a startling reality. Children, younger than I was, have already started beating their meat. Why does this matter? Because every act shapes who we become. As children, our, our brains are much more susceptible, so each indulgence breeds a desire for more. The habit spreads un unknowingly at first. Then with intense force, it commands our very being. Self-pleasuring may seem harmless, a private thing that you do, but it is an addiction in disguise, a poison that is sweet. With every indulgence, our energies meant for higher purpose leak away. Our self-worth diminishes, our will to create, to connect, to contribute shrinks within narrowing confines. If this begins for children, imagine the man they will become. Now imagine the world created by millions of such men. Is this the legacy we want to pass on? A civilization of limp and lazy men? Or do we want to aspire something greater? A world of nobility and compassion, of meaning and mutual flourishing. The choice starts from within. Each one of us with every thought and action shapes the collective destiny we call humanity. Change always begins with a single courageous soul who decides to awaken. Who will be the first to rise? Will you heed the call of a higher purpose and take the first step toward greatness? Or will you go back to watching Netflix?